Red Trail Energy is a corn-based biorefinery located near Richardson, North Dakota. This state-of-the-art plant began producing ethanol in January of 2007. Today, Red Trail Energy produces around 65 million gallons of ethanol, using 23 million bushels of corn annually. That equates to 2.85 gallons of ethanol from every bushel of corn. Co-products produced by RTE include 125,000 tons of dried distiller's grain, 80,000 tons of modified wet cake, 18 million pounds of corn oil, and 25,000 tons of syrup annually. So, what is the process for ethanol production? Corn, grown right here in North Dakota, is brought to Red Trail Energy as a raw commodity. This begins the first step in the process of creating ethanol. The corn is moved to the hammer mill, where the corn is ground to a fine granular consistency. After the corn is ground, the corn is moved on a conveyor to the process building where it is mixed with water and enzymes and then moved to the slurry tank. The mash is then heated to 186 degrees Fahrenheit where the starch breaks down to a fermentable sugar. The mixture then passes through a series of heat exchangers to bring the temperature down to 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Then yeast is added and the mash mixture is moved to one of the four fermentation tanks which each holds 730,000 gallons of mixture. As the yeast begins to ferment, the reaction produces heat, CO2, and alcohol. After around 60 hours, the mixture is now called beer and is around 15% alcohol. Now on to distillation. The distillation process is where the alcohol is separated from the water and solids. The beer is moved to one of three distillation chambers. The first distillation chamber is the beer column, followed by the rectifier and side stripper. After distilling, the alcohol passes through a molecular sieve to achieve 200 proof. RTE also has the ability to run the alcohol through further distilling to produce USP alcohol, which has a higher purity. The ethanol is then sent to holding tanks, where it is stored until it is sold and shipped. It is important to note, there is almost no waste while producing ethanol. Through thoughtful, intentional planning, we're able to take what normally would be byproducts and instead create a collection of co-products that bring additional value to our production facility and diversify the plant's output. The solids, separated from the beer mixture, are sent to a large rotating drum to dry. The corn solids are turned into either distiller's grain or modified distiller's grain. The corn water from the beer mixture is evaporated down and turned into a corn syrup. These beneficial co-products are sold to farmers and ranchers to feed livestock. Virtually every co-product is able to be utilized and sold. The corn syrup is sent through a centrifuge that uses centrifugal force to separate the lighter corn oil from the syrup to later produce biodiesel. Red Trail Energy is the first carbon capture and storage project allowed under state primacy in the United States. Red Trail Energy has taken action on something others only talk about. We're setting a new standard for the ethanol industry by capturing 100% of our CO2 emissions created by the fermentation process. The CO2 is permanently stored underground more than a mile below the surface in the Broom Creek Formation. Utilizing state-of-the-art monitoring technology, we can monitor CO2 plume in real time. This allows us to not only be better stewards to the environment, but also places more value on the ethanol in the clean fuel market. Ethanol is already considered a low carbon fuel. Now, the ethanol produced at RTE has a lower carbon footprint than conventional ethanol sources, thanks to carbon capture. Red Trail Energy is proud to create economic benefit for our investors, local communities, and the state of North Dakota by converting our natural resources and regional corn production into ethanol and beneficial co-products.